Mina, Yokozo, welcome back. Pokemon Shining Pearl, version... First... Version... <laughs> part 4. <laughs> ah. We're gonna do something real quick. Uh, I was thinking this pretty hard yesterday, that... There's too much, uh... Too much time. Too much time... Just hanging out... Whenever we're fighting stuff. And... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope. I'm gonna get this, eventually. I don't have any honey. Just trying to figure out what all's down here. Ralst berries. Take those. I am startled. We may as well battle now. I suppose, since I'm up and moving. So hopefully this will uh, decrease the time in battles by quite a bit. Oh yeah, old school. This is this is what the original was like. No reaction, no movement. <laughs> but just for the sake of timeliness. I think it's uh I think it's right to speed this up as much as possible. Still get to see them. Still get to kind of figure out what the heck they're doing. There's like a move, I think. I can't remember what it is. But I think you can punch trees. I feel like this is true. Because I think that's where the Bommies come from. Or the Burmies. The Burmies. I feel like this is where the Burmies come from. You gotta punch the trees. Punch the trees. And letting the stuff fall out. They could just be coming off of the honey trees, but eh. poison barb. Ah, that's pretty good. I already have a ponyta. Thank you, but no thank you. The dangerous thing with the speed-up version of this is you don't fully understand what's happening. And if you're not paying attention, it's pretty easy to miss when you are getting when you get hit by a status effect or when your your stats are lowered. Nope. Come back when I get flash. switch out my Pokemons. Running out of confusion and there are a lot of rock types. <laughs>
Ponyta is an interesting uh, character in general because you don't. This is the first game I think where you get her early enough to be able to actually use her in any in any real way. Uh, in the first game, if you had the right one, I want to say it was blue, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but you could get a Ponyta after about half of the game. And that doesn't, I mean, it's not like it's the end of the world, but... Yeah, sure. Flame Charge is good. We like Flame Charge. Flame Charge is a fire-type move that increases your speed. So why not, right? It's a buff and an attack. And then she was never, like, strong enough to justify putting on your team. Uh, her counterpart in red, I think. I could be backwards on this. But uh, Growlithe and... Um, uh, well, just Growlithe. Anyway, he's he's very solid. He's uh, He's got some, some pretty serious attack bonus stat stuff. Whereas, I mean, Ponyta is great, don't get me wrong, but her claim to fame is, is speed. And it's just not as important, uh, especially in the first game. Speed was not, not a deciding factor, for sure. There's a lot more strategies to it now, but still, it's uh, not the end of the world, one way or the other. In this particular game, I've got a fire type. I mean, she's the first fire type that I've run into that's a real fire type. Because uh, I could teach, like, a certain couple fire moves to Onyx, even. You know, I've got Pokemon that can learn fire moves. But it's not probably something I, I want to be doing. So it's good to have a good to have a solid fire type. I lost Baneri for a while. I'll keep her in the the second tier, just as a, a nice to have. She's got some cool stuff, but uh, she's not she's not core to the team. Oh, you know what? I forgot to water the last ones. Oh well. <laughs> there is a good chance I will not be back for those. <laughs> <laughs> these berries are just they're they're just not well situated I, I think the impression you're supposed to have is that if they're important enough then you need to go back you know just it's an excuse to to go back and, and re-explore the world but in reality I do not remember doing that there are a few very convenient ones that are right next to towns uh, that you can get, and I think there might be one... No, that's a different game. I was going to say there's like a garden area where you've got a bunch of them in the same spot. That's handy. But I don't know that there's one in this one. Ooh. Yeah, let's check that out. Oops. Alright, let's see. This is the pseudo-friendship one. No idea how that works. This is... The dousing machine? I can't... Can't use it without. I'm like right on top of it. Yeah, that's what I was talking about a couple of episodes ago. The stuff that you can't see. I don't know that it's a requirement to have the dousing machine before you can actually use it, but it's uh, 
it's just a waste of time to try otherwise. Uh, I'm gonna say... the heck were they? I've got a ton of orange. I've only got one chest hill. I've only got one chest hill. So this would be an okay one, because there's four of them, and they're about two seconds away from a main town. So you can fly there real easy and, and pop these in. And then there's another two, obviously, right above, and you don't have to fight anything in between. So this this might be one that you would, that you would farm a little bit, but who knows. I honestly don't remember spending that much time on these. Maybe they're a lot more important now than they used to be. By the end of the game, I had... Everybody was using... Uh, um, hmm. uh, all my Pokemon had... Uh, special items that were for them specifically. I think it's right, right there. Yeah, that's probably right. Wait. Well, that's stupid. The heck? I can't just have it on all the time. Yeah, this is kind of dumb. Hidden moves. Where's my verse finder? Oh, you know what? The verse finder might actually be a uh, an item. Yeah, look at that. Verse seeker. Since we're here, let's stop at the Pokemon Center. Sturdy. bikes have ever been super easy to control. Especially since this game's not really designed to be uh, open. <laughs> right? Okay. All right, going back up here. Yay, I made it. We is the greatest.
Hmm. Yeah. A super potion. Bronzor. Now this is an interesting one. Whoops, that was stupid. Bronzor is a steel psychic type, I believe. What's his 18? Let's see if uh, Isabel can take this. Fusion. Ah. No, Isabel. why you need a fire type. So, can't go this way. Gotta go this way. <sighs> Probably not a good idea to be on a bike. This is one of those areas that they specifically mention Nice meeting you. He seems like a nice guy. Yep, there it is. It's a bee doof again. Is it always a bee doof? I can't imagine that they're everywhere. gone around. Whatever. It's a Machop. I'm not interested in you and Machop. You're already in my Pokedex.
Black Belt Kyle. Chop is technically a fighting type, but you never really see him do, like, karate stuff. He's more like a boxer. <laughs> Waterfall, surf. Will you share some food with me? Nothing there, but do this. No, maybe there's nothing there. Okay. Sometimes you think it's an obvious spot to put something, but it's not.
Comb B is an interesting one. That's new for this uh, this generation. A bug flying type, I believe, and only the females evolve. Nanab. Like bananas, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, like bananas. Okay, what? It watered the one right next to it, too. Alright, next time I'm just going to do the one and see if it waters all of them. Berry Master House. I stole all of your berries, but I planted some. <laughs> A figgy berry. I can make some pudding. What? Oh, I can just buy them? I can only buy them one at a time, though. <laughs> okay. I wasn't sure what she was saying the first time. But yeah, okay. I understand. So now they're admitting that Pokemon have fertilizer. Uh, they never really talk about that. It's just another thing. One of those Pokemon's pretty amazing at the surface level. And if you start digging at all, it gets dark pretty fast. All right. Uh, you said that my town map knows where berries are. I don't believe you. Okay. So these are the berry locations. Excellent, excellent. Uh, these are trees that could be populated, maybe. Those are trees that have been populated. I thought I did two of them, though. Uh, oh. Okay, okay. So... Maybe the Shining Tree is the one that actually has a Pokemon in it now. 
And these ones are the ones that have honey on them. And these are the ones that could have honey in them, but don't. And then these are the... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I don't remember that being in the, uh, the original game, but I could be completely backwards. Artist William. First, I'm going to cut off my ear and send out mine, Junior. Hooray. <laughs> what? Oh, you copied it. Yep. Okay. But my wish went through, right? <laughs> That's right. I never got into Mr. Mime. Uh, in the original game, he didn't have an evolution, or a pre-evolution, right? <coughs> Bonsley. Uh, Bonsley is a rock type. Ah, uh, we're okay. So, Mr. Mime had a lot of cool general abilities. He was a basic psychic type. Basic psychic type. He was uh, the only one of his kind, right? Um, you didn't get him until, like, really far into the first game. If you got him at all. And I want to say it was him and Jinx. You couldn't have both of them in the same game. I could be wrong on that. Because Jinx was an ice psychic type. But again, so far into the first game that you couldn't... It's like, what's the point? An odd keystone. What? What is it? 209, head to the Grand Underground, listen to the stone pillar. Okay. What the heck's 209? 208. Okay, so 209 is over here. Good to know. Good to know. I don't have any honey. Oh, I got some honey. Hooray! So, combies, the little bees that I was talking about before, have an ability that they can sometimes just find honey. Or they'll make honey, whatever. Sometimes it'll just be on them all of a sudden without warning. And you don't know. <laughs> you don't know that they've got it. <clears throat> so that's... I think that's the only one that just randomly finds honey. Otherwise you have to like buy it or find it from... Uh, oh yeah, disabled. This is the danger of, of having the accelerated battle system. I will say that... So Mr. Mime had a lot of cool stuff. He was a barrier-based Pokemon, right? So if you got you got Reflect, you got uh, well barrier. Anyway, he was he was a very defensive kind of type, and if you really needed a psychic type, great. But I I really only started caring about him as a character after the anime had him as uh, he kind of became Ash's mom's butler, for lack of a better term. And he was always such a reliable guy that uh, I wanted to give him a lot of props for that. So he turned around. He turned around into a pretty guy, pretty good guy. I like that the anime really, really fleshed him out, even the just a little bit that you see him. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna try and not kill this one. That'll work. <laughs> 
Psyduck, super popular because of the anime. And he's pretty awful uh, in the anime, obviously. He does, he comes through in a pinch. Yes, I haven't named one in a while. Let's get out our random name generator. And we're looking for... He's closer to a bird than anything else. Uh, your name is going to be... <laughs> Onyxia. <laughs> okay. Uh... Is that an IA or an YA? IA. Onyxia. The Golduck is actually a pretty serious contender. Golduck has some good, good solid moves, decent stats. Uh, it's an early water slash psychic type. And can't have too many psychic types, right? It's a Buneary. Yeah. I walk around with this fancy microphone. Makes sense to me. <laughs> this is a creepy fisherman. Sure, I'll take it. Aww. Alright, I guess I have to hold on to it. It's a baby. You don't see those very many. Those very often in Pokemon games. I don't know why. Just what it is. Please go inside. Fantina. sticker. You had me come all this way for a sticker?
Uh, what just happened? Oh. That's a lot of nonsense right there. That's kind of cool, right? I like the preview effect. And you can pause it. send Minky in. I don't really know what I'm doing here, but... It's a frame to display a photo in. I want to know about the photo, not the frame. Poffins. So Minky is pretty evenly distributed. Really? Oh, I don't have any poffins. That's why. Contest move? Uh... Okay, injury number one. Is that a vampire? You're facing the wrong way.
Yeah, I don't remember a lot of this. I know they had them. But I don't remember a lot of this. And obviously, this is much fancier than it used to be. Juicy? He is a vampire. use the thing. Hmm. Okay. So there, I think there's a contest or a, uh, like a battle portion too. So you got to get super specialized after a while. There are five different categories, right? And then you uh, put your poffins in to, to your, each one particular to um, try and maximize that. And you want to give their abilities, or sorry, their, uh, their moves. You want to pick their moves based on that. So all of the, all of your moves have a contest type as well as their regular type. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, there's a whole meta there that I don't quite understand, but it's uh, something that's a lot easier to do at the end of the game. Still, I wouldn't mind trying out one just for kicks and giggles. Ah, that's cool. God, she's skinny. Okay.
Okay, not bad. I got some hall points. What? <laughs> no hall points. Sticker A. The heck was that? Okay, this is not what I remember at all. Then I feel like there was like a an actual battle portion, and maybe they just super simplified it. Whatever. All right, we've done our due diligence here. We uh, tried out the thing. We got a couple of, I don't know, whatever they are. Probably. Because of the convenience store? Oh, the department store. Okay, sure, why not? You're all crazy. Pokemon Fan Club. This baby. Okay. 
Sure. No idea. The Poffin House. Madness. Complete and utter madness. Psyduck. Oh, Psyduck, why? Let's go make a couple poffins just to see what happens. <laughs> so, cherry is spicy, pecha is sweet. Frost is bitter, Asper is sour, Orin is a whole bunch of everything. Figgy is more spicy than the other one. Raz is spicy and dry. You get the idea. Um, what do I have that I can... I need at least two of them. Um, why don't we do... Let's do two horns. Oh, I can do more than two. I can do up to four. And then I guess I'm going to be using the right control stick. Got to slow down and make sure that it doesn't spill. Color will change as it's hardened. It can go faster as it hardens.
Okay, hooray. A fa <laughs> Okay. No. Give it to Trooper, because he's a trooper. Yeah, sorry. So it did go up, but not great. It doesn't tell you what they like, though. Whatever. Poffins are only a big deal for uh, the contest. If you're not going to be heavy into the contest, they're not anything that you need to care about. Berries are useful outside of contests, but only in a very specific way. So it's good to have berries, but they're not required. And then... You know, you really want them for poffins more than anything else. So it's it's a good thing to have later if you really get into the contests. Should I captivate the whole world? Uh, why? Why would you ask me that? You have an elevator but no stairs. That's a fire code violation. It's a shell bell. What's it do? Gain HP a little by inflicting damage. <sighs> we like that.
Yeah. You can check in your... On your badges. You see that she is, uh... She's way down there. She's number five. So you've got two more areas to beat up first. I think we're going to head out this way. 209, because this is 212. So. How did I get in front of this guy? I think he's challenging me to a battle, but he's just talking in gibberish. Starly. Is Starly hasn't evolved. It's level 19. Weasel? We were just talking about Weasel. Cloda, in for the win! Weasel is a pure water type. And except for some speed, there's not a whole lot going on there. His uh, neck ring inflates to help him float, which is really cool. I, I mean, that's that's not something that just a regular person would think about. How about a weasel that's in the water and he uses a floaty so he doesn't drown? Uh, okay. Right. That's pretty cool. Ugh, critical hit. How do you critical hit that? There's no critical hit for a grass knot. It's just silly. Monferno. Let's just go with Minky. So in reality, what Grass Knot is doing is it is creating a trip hazard on the ground that your opponent trips over. It's a, it's a knot of like tree roots or something like that. And Ponyta is famous for, you know, speed, agility with her feet. The odds of her tripping over anything in the first place seems a little bit silly. And then tripping in such a way that she's gonna really hurt herself. It's just one of those things where once you hit reality with what you're actually doing, it seems unlikely that it would play out this way. But you're not really supposed to think that that deep. Fellstone Jim. Shouldn't you heal your Pokemon? They're all dead. I'm gonna do that. None of mine are dead. They're just... A couple of them are hurt. <sighs> uh, this generation of Pokemon are... It's kind of ridiculous how many really amazing 
Pokemon they introduce and how many relatively useless Pokemon they introduce. Oh, I need a freaking egg. Okay, yeah, let's get me a spot. I need to drop off somebody. Uh... Next is fighting and water, I think. So I could drop off Crunch for a while. I do not remember what egg Pokemon you get. Used to be Clefairy. Or sorry, not Clefairy. Uh, Togepi. The first egg you got was always a Togepi. And then eventually they were like, oh, this could be just a random anything. Theoretically, you can just... Actually, that's a good idea. Hold on. I'm not using that for anything else. Oh, one more. Pretty sure there's a set number of of how many uh, steps you need to go. I'm not gonna just do that, but it's it's step based usually for egg hatching. There is a an ability that you can have on certain Pokemon. I think Magmar has it for sure. Uh, there might be a couple of others that uh, increases the rate of of hatching it doesn't seem close to hatching yeah but it's level 26 did I see that right no okay <laughs> I was like <laughs> Claude is level 26 <laughs> I was like when did eggs get levels are you mad Hey, it's a breeder. This is what Brock wanted to be back before they even existed. Ugh. Sturdy. Pichu. That's a new one for us. Ah, eh, poor Pichu. <laughs> the egg is getting no experience.
bee barrel. A jar o honey. Oh, it's a bee barrel. Okay, yeah, sure. I'll take a I'll take a bee barrel if I can catch him. If I can catch him, catch him, catch them all. Yeah, that might be okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. So that's something I forgot about, that it turns into a water type. All right, Bee Barrel, get ready for your new name. You will be called Winston. Perfect. Heck yeah. Good Rod's actually pretty good. Thus the name. Nope, I'm good. fish a lot. Uh, if you want to. A couple of like obvious ones to catch. Uh, usually you can find a goldine pretty easy and maybe like a whiz cash or something. Um, but it depends on where you are, obviously. What what your uh, what your you're fishing in lakes versus rivers versus the ocean uh, cave uh, water cave lakes cave ponds whatever you want to call them. Usually it just comes down to where and when. Because uh, you're not going to have, like, you're not really going to have an ocean and a river in the same, in the same spot. But, anyway. If you're low on water Pokemon, that's where you go. Agility is actually pretty good. We like agility. It's not great, but it's fine. Ah, uh, yeah, I forgot about that. Actually, hold on. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Aw, they're sad. Pretty. 
Are you maybe a genius? I think I want to change out Isabel. Put her in number two spot. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you're cute. Oh, cool, she's even got the right tail. face. Ah, oh, that's so perfect. Ah. I got more stickers. Just handing out stickers like candy. Or candy like stickers. Look at that. Okay. So it does at least the ones next to it. Maybe I'll have to try it on a four four spot. <laughs> Why do you think she has a bucket? Does that make sense to anybody? Every other Pokemon trainer carries them around on their belt or in their bag or something. Why would she have a bucket? I said I should come down into the underground and then do something. It's like I don't really know what I'm looking for.
Whoops. Nah, I missed one. That's okay. I got a box, which I think is more important. Maybe? I don't know. It's a fighter type. It's a Metacham. Hooray! Scorupi. Scorupies are pretty good. As far as poison types go, uh, I had a lot of uh, a lot of respect for the uh, Scorupi tree. It has a lot of things that you you like poison your guy, you poison your opponent, and then you use like a Venus Shock or something that does a ton of damage, plus a ton of damage because they're poisoned. And it's just it, there's just a lot of stacking you can do with uh, with that type of Pokemon. Plus, I don't I think his stats are actually pretty decent. Seriously. Well. Uh, let's see. Do I have something that's not going to kill you immediately? Mm. Maybe, Isabel? If I just use Tackle, maybe you'll be okay. Hey, there we go. I could use a great ball too. I kind of want to save him. Ah, for the love of Pete. That's not good. Critical hit. Oh well. We tried. So yeah, we can we can come back. It's not that terribly important. Can I use my bike down here? No. That would be too awesome. Oh, whoa, 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 what just happened? Is it Diglett? What am I looking at here? That is a big whatever it is. Ah, whoops. Nope. Didn't quite make it. <sighs> Huh. 
No idea what those shards are for. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. So the guy told me to go into 209, go into the the underground, and then look for a... a I don't know. I don't know what that was. What did I just do? What just happened? I got nothing. It's all very confusing. Hey, it's another person. Thank you. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to go into somebody else's base. Oh, hello. Rhyhorn. I have a love for Rhyhorn that is unnecessary. Really, you know, Rhyhorn, Rhydon, just uh, very first game, end of the game, you uh, you can get them super easy and they're very powerful uh, and they just work for everything. Ah, I killed one. Have you, Onyx? Thank you, though. Yeah, you had a... So, if you could get a Golem, then you didn't need a Rhyhorn. Odds were good you were gonna not get a Golem. <laughs> Because you didn't have anyone to trade with. Troopers getting Mega Drain? Uh, hmm. I guess I can lose Tackle. Mega Drain's alright. Trooper's not a... He's got more attack than special attack, if I remember correctly. So it's not going to be super, super effective, useful. Anyway, if you had a, uh, if you had a golem, you were you were okay without a rifle. But odds were good you were using a ditto or a dug trio for your ground type for a very long time, and that was enough to do a lots of stuff. Oh, that was stupid. Why did I do that? I was trying to capture it. You know what? I don't really have the right stuff to capture it anyway. It's fine. So yeah, this is kind of cool. You get... Uh... But, so, Doug Trio's big problem towards the end is that he's only good for very specific uh, you got to be able to, to really maximize that ground attack and otherwise he's kind of he's kind of a glass cannon hollow tower I don't I don't understand whatever Woot. I like Gastly's. So yeah, he was he was great to have <clears throat> right up until the end. You could like wipe the floor with your uh, with the electric gym with uh, with a ditto or a duck trio. It was it was over for you, but you couldn't really take it to the elite four. Because it just wasn't, it just wasn't quite that that powerful. Uh, but you get a Rhyhorn, which is a it's a rock ground type, but it's primarily like ground type stuff. Uh, so you got your dig, you got your magnitude, 
Um, you got your uh, earthquake. Earthquake was the big one. Um, what do I want to put here? I could just put Razzes. And he was actually strong enough to be able to hold out against Elite Four type uh, critters. And as a bonus, when you caught him, he was already like level 65. So if he wasn't a ride on, you were getting a ride on right away. It's just a great, great memory, great Pokemon. Pretty solid, pretty solid Pokemon. I guess there was one other ground type that you had reliably, and that was a, a Nido King or a Nido Queen. But it was a poison type as well, and like I said before, poison types were just the worst. They were super weak, uh, unnecessarily weak, I guess, in the first game. The only thing that could really prevent you from dying instantaneously was if you were a ghost and a poison. <laughs> but even that wasn't a given. Cowgirl. Yeah, okay. Because they don't have cows, right? They have a cow Pokemon. But they don't have cows. So that... That feels odd. So it feels like the way she's standing would be a little bit awkward after a while. Like, I'm very uncomfortable. <laughs> Jeez, how many B-Dupes do you have? Force Palm, Force Fist, Force Headbutt. Oh, she's got the same move as that other. As a uh, lass? I think as a lass. 
Aww. The Lost Tower. But it's right there. It's the Tower of the Lost. It's not the Lost Tower. It's not like we lost the tower. He thinks I'm a ghost. Stunky. Oh, it's a dark type. I forgot about that. Shellos. is pretty good. Hey, you ain't no ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, ghastly. Hello. Hello, old friend. Ah, uh, Clota actually might be too strong.
Yep. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ghastly. I should have gone with Isabel. I was thinking about it. Yeah, sure, okay. So, Jirachi's attack is actually higher than the special attack. Okay, I did not realize that. I don't need Wish and Life Do. I really only need the one. I'll hold on to Life Do. Wish is stronger than Life Do, but Life Do works on multiple people. Roughneck. something out. Okay, yeah. So eventually, uh, electric types became immune to paralysis. And I think that's true in this game too. I'm gonna shake off that sorrow. Yet, I still went first? That's madness.
Zabad. So I'm still paralyzed, but because I'm using Swift, it doesn't give me the opportunity to hurt myself. Because it hits no matter what. It's a weird thing that I've never really noticed before. It's another cowgirl. And... Rancher? Oh, I guess together they're ranchers. That's weird. Hypnosis. Hypnosis again. <laughs> yes. see what pops out of this egg, but ghostly, sorry, ghastly, ghost types would be a pretty solid ad. Born from poison gases. Yeah, okay, sure. What a great name. Random name generator does it again. So I got me a ghastly. Unless a haunter pops out, we're probably good. That's a couple of good 
good funny types. So they're both dark types, I think. I think Mysterious is a dark ghost type, maybe? It's at least a ghost type. Uh, so it would make sense for me to change. There's actually one new ghost type for this generation that I'd really like to play with if I can. Uh, Spiritomb. But we'll see. We'll see if I can find him. Sixes. I want to say the cleanse tag works similar to a repel in that it's uh, based on the the level that you that you have it associated to your Pokemon. So the higher level your first Pokemon is, it'll it'll deter more Pokemon that way, more wild encounters that way. Uh, that said, I don't know that it's as good. Obviously, if you've got one that's always works for free, why would you <laughs> why would you ever buy a repel? Am I not? I don't think I've gone that way yet. Ah, freaking bike stuff. These are actually pretty good. They're per permanent bonuses to a Pokemon stats. And that's always welcome.
Seriously, paralyzed again. Just gonna have to use my swift. Finally. I could heal myself. I think I have a paralyzed heal. Or I could swap out to a different Pokemon or whatever, but... I'm gonna have to start doing that. <laughs> I think I'm right next to a town. Something else. After a while, uh, they gave... So once, once you started getting, like, friendship levels in the games with your Pokemon, they, the highest level of friendship uh, or bond or whatever it is in that particular game, they would actually, the Pokemon could actually like heal themselves in random ways. Or they could avoid attacks that they wouldn't otherwise avoid, or they could do critical hits that they wouldn't otherwise do. Uh, it's a it's a pretty solid bonus. Hey, look, we're in a town, free of worry. Yeah, you say that. The egg doesn't need to heal. All right. This is a good place to stop for now. I think we've made some uh, some decent progress. So I appreciate uh, everybody watching, and I'll catch you next time.